this um, album, um, from what I've heard, is it's such a more dynamic listen. If, if it's yeah, fair to say. we had some help. Um, the last record we recorded on our own, and this mm. one we got some people in to kind of help us with with a few things mm. uh, in production, and also kind of a guy called Blank Mass who makes electronic records, and his records are very. Um, violent in themselves and brutal and, mm. and um, sonically they're kind of very different to what we would do so I think mm. that kind of like immediacy and kind of like slap in the face probably comes from him mm. and also colliding with the songs that we've got at the moment you know I think the songs um, yeah there's a directness and immediacy to them too at the moment so. yeah we've had years like the first year people got to know our band especially here the guitars all came from a very high place you know what I mean kind of the way Chris used to play mm. and now Chris isn't in the band we've got a, a guy called Justin who's been He's not new anymore. He's been. This is the third record of him, but <laughs> he'll be new to some people. Um, yeah. But uh, he doesn't play guitar like that, and this is his moment. And he, mm. really, yeah, he goes for it, and it's um, yeah, it's, it's rock. Mm. Yeah, and, and you and you've been kind of using uh, like over the like the last say three albums, you used your voice in a diff- slightly different way. Yeah, well. yeah, you've gone a lot higher this time. Yeah, right? yeah. I've you know I've, over the years just trying to you know stretch myself and do things differently, mm. and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But you mm. know, I mean. T- the first few records, you know, I was known for being like this and that's the thing that we had and that's fine. Um, but you kind of go, well, you know, can I do other things as mm. you go along? And this is our sixth record and over the over those records, we we have pushed things here and there. W- wasn't there a study about your um, your vocal range? Wasn't it, that a big thing? It, in the Daily Mirror, yeah, uh, they went... <laughs> Didn't uh, expect that from them, That to was be a funny day, yeah, <laughs> you know, just scrolling through Twitter and then one came up on my feed that was uh, a, a Mirror article about me. Well, it was about the singers in... British, I think it was I think it was British pop music right. with the biggest range. It was like, oh, you're not going to believe who's number one. You've never heard of him. Oh. And, and, uh, <laughs> can't, even have, can't even have one day. Yeah. One nice it's day. Like, it's, it's not Freddie Mercury. It's not, you know, <laughs> Matt Bellamy. It's it's me. It was me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, that was a funny day. <laughs> it's such a weird sort of thing to have, have your kind of, your craft kind well, of distilled I, down I to something like yeah. that. Yeah, well, exactly. It doesn't mean you're any good, does it? Just that you can <laughs> go high and low. It doesn't mean you, you actually have an effect. This is technically... You have a, lo- a wide range. Yeah. Box to box. Yeah. Tom from editors. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, when you were uh, sort of putting this album together, um, you, you, t- you drew from a few different influences. You went out um, to Greece to some uh, refugee camps with uh, Oxfam, is that right? Sure, yeah. I mean, that was um, in Dream, uh, mm. in that downtime before I'd really started writing for this record, mm. and a long time before we got together as a band to kind of work on it. Uh, Oxfam asked us to go out and meet Elliot, and um, Ed went for a few days, and yeah, I mean... God, of course it was um, uh, hard, uh, and I'll remember it for uh, forever. Um, um, and yeah, seeing people there just uh, just existing off the help of others, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, the words for the song Hallelujah in particular I wrote when I came back from that trip. Mm. You know. I did. Well, we're going to stick on uh, the uh, current single magazine. Can you tell us a little bit about that one? Sure. Um, so that was the first song that people heard from this set of songs, and... Um, People say it's a political song, but it doesn't really have like a, it's not a message song. You know what I mean? Mm. It's me kind of singing about some kind of corrupt um, figure of power that I've kind of imagined. It's a, it's a character rather than mm. someone specific, and um, you know those kind of empty gestures that we're all used to hearing and seeing. You know, and uh, it's me kind of poking fun at that person. Awesome stuff. Well, here it is, editors magazine. Just looking at your uh, tour dates, you're spending a little bit more time in, in Germany. You're doing like seven dates or something, aren't you? Something like that. There's a lot of German festivals yeah. and a lot of uh, German shows on the tour. So it's a big mm. place. You, know what it's, I mean? it, it's you huge. forget. You forget, and also um, musically, they seem to get more interesting rock bands. Like the, the radio plays some bit more interesting stuff with yeah. the greatest respect to our, our own <laughs> organ. But like, yeah. they just seem to sort of they don't shy away from the dark and the light, and they, you know. Yeah, we find. For us, a lot of mainland Europe, um, in terms of radio play that we get and the audiences that we play to, I guess we feel a little bit more relevant. And mm. I'm not sat here like moaning about how we should or shouldn't get played more here. That, it, that's that's fine. It is what it is. But there is a difference. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they're less um, bothered about things that are new and cool, I guess. They like new things, yeah. obviously, but... Uh, a band that has been around for a while is respected. Uh, where sometimes I think here longevity is um, sniffed at a little bit. It's not yeah. cool. It's two it, albums and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you know, people like things to burn brightly and then mm. and then and then explode. Uh, where you know, you look at the way that the media here treated a band like Depeche Mode or even Muse to start with, and Placebo, things like that. Mm. Um, 
in Europe, there's never any, never any of that. You know, they're quite no. loyal. You know, not that they all like it, but if they like it, they're on board and they're interested in what they're doing yeah. next. And because it's their fourth record, they're they're just as interested as, as they were when they did their second record. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, well you got you got like Estonia. There's a Depeche Mode bar for crying out loud. Yeah, when they just made Depeche Mode bar music yeah, all day. I'm um, talking about. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a part of the Cure at British Summertime as well. You must have played with those guys before, should we? We've not. No, it's really? the first time. Wow. You know, and they're one of the bands that when we. You know, like when you start out, you talk about the bands that you respect and look up to and they're on that list, you know mm. what I mean? Um, in some ways, we're cut from a similar cloth as well, you know. they're Obviously, there's a darkness to what they do, but the, the pop writing and the, the songs and the melodies is just so wonderful with The Cure and it's their 40th birthday and they're having a party in Hyde Park and they've mm. invited us to be on the bill and there's some great stuff. Gold Frap, um, Interpol are playing, uh, I think Slow Dive and Ride are there as well. Yeah, mm. it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a lot of... Um, some burnt goths. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, yeah. Imagine those. I, I worry about Interpol. They're double-breasted Armani suits. Oh, they're going to be so sweaty. Tricky. <laughs> Unbelievable scenes. They've, got, uh, they've probably got those fans on stage. Though, oh yeah, you know? definitely. <laughs> uh, well, we're uh, going to uh, finish up with a little bit of uh, darkness at the door. Uh, cool. Do you want to tell us a little about this? Apparently, it's the new single. Apparently, it's the new single. You've just uh, been informed. <laughs> <laughs> I think darkness at the door is kind of. Um, is about friendship, and I think it's probably about the band, really, mm. as five people, like, kind of that kind of collective invincibility that you feel when you're just cracking on doing what you're doing, you know what I mean? Mm. Those things that go on outside of the room uh, seem less important and less scary when you're, um, I guess, with your mates. So, yeah. Well, fantastic stuff. Thank you for joining us, Tom. Cheers, thanks for having me.